Welcome back to the channel. In last video, you saw how I removed the engine and got it down here on a crate. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to attach it to the engine stand so I can start thinking about taking the heads off and cleaning up the engine. So this is the um, threaded bar that will wind into the, uh, the four holes on the back of the block. Probably wind them about that far. Um, I've got, the, got to cut them about that long. Um, when the four is sitting there, I can lift the engine up, move the crate out of the way, and then slide the engine stand in, which you can't see, but it's just here. Um, then I can quickly put bolts on the back, uh, and that's how the engine will be supported for a while. It seems surprising that this will hold up a 260 kilogram engine, but apparently it will. I guess when you work it out, 260 kilograms divided by four, 65 kilograms per stud is probably not that crazy. So I'm just winding the uh, threaded bar in. I'm using two nuts uh, to sort of lock in place, and then I use the second nut to wind in. Um, I'm going to wind this in basically as far as it will go without pushing too hard. Um, then I'll measure how much I need for the end of the uh, engine stand, which is going to be something like that much. Cut it a little bit extra, um, maybe five centimetres more than I need, something like that. Uh, and then go on to the next one. If I get all four done, it's only these top two that are threaded, so the bottom two, uh, it actually pokes through the lug. Um, and I put a nut on the back end of it, a couple of nuts probably. Uh, and then I can start looking at hanging this on the stand. Right, that's fully wound in. So that'll be like that. Okay, the Dremel won't work because it's, the blade's too small, I can't get straight. So I think we need to uh, go big or go home with the gr angle grinder. Um, I'll try and gently go through it. It's quite secure there. Uh, and then it might be that I have to tidy up the thread at the end. Interestingly, I thought, angle grinding at the end, I thought it would ruin the thread, but that, I've literally just cut it, I've not tied it up at all. That will go um, straight off, no problem at all. So I'll do the other four, I won't bother uh, videoing it, save you the boredom. Uh, and then we've got the studs, we can start putting it on the engine stand. Right, so I've put the four studs in, they're ready, um, I'm just going to lift it up, Take the crate out of the way, slide the engine, uh, engine stand in, and attach it. Hopefully, it'll be that simple. Try and get a little bit more level uh, before we try. So that's like. To like that side, but I can. It's easier to wind the other way. Um, so if it's like that. It might be okay. Let's try that. Maybe a little bit.
Yeah. Good news is it will fit. It needs to be higher. Top one so I can slide in, and the bottom one I can slide back. These top ones actually screw into the um, into the engine block, so I, I can't do it much about them. But they are where they are. Where the bottom ones, there's no thread on the bottom, so I can slide them in and out. Um, basically, play around with it a bit more to get it in the right place. And it seems pretty good. It's not really that far off anyway. They're all they're all pretty much on. Uh, to believe that it will support the engine, or more that the engine will be supported by four bolts. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And this cut in the um, threaded bar went really well. I didn't have any problems at all, no threads broken. Uh, it cut through really cleanly. I did cock up the measurements a little bit. Um, I should have done these bottom ones a bit longer. Well, they're long enough, but a little bit longer wouldn't have hurt. Right, just wind these on. I've got to remember that I've not done up the, the um, stand, the, the bolts on the stand. So, uh, what do I need to do here? Um, maybe on the fraction of high. This is where it all goes wrong. Very hard to move it gently up and down. I think that moved a little bit. So it should just go off, I think. Um, I think it's the angle of the engine, I think. Um, I can't do a lot of bad now because this stupid chain gets, gets uh, in the way. 
maybe that I just have to do the bolts up and it'll sort of pull itself on. Probably the easiest thing to do here. If I can find my spanner. I'm not sure the engine's quite on the right angle, but I figure if I do the bolts up, it, it will pull the stand up to it so that it is at the right angle, and then we can worry about it after. It seems to be working. Um, but it's on the stand, so that's the main thing. Isn't it? Right, so they're all done up. So now I do the, the actual, um, the actual sort of legs on the um, on the stand itself. I've got to at the moment. That's with the the bolts that are into the block uh, the back of the bell housing uh, into the stand, and they're all good. I've done those four. Now I need to do up the uh, bolts that actually hold the these legs into the stand itself. Uh, you can see that on there. Oops, I just get it focused for you. That one there's still not done up. Um, and they're the ones that have been pulled in certain, not quite the right direction. Uh, probably because the engine's wonky and, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So I'll try and do that now. Well, I've got it on the stand. Um, I don't particularly like this sort of uh, orientation, but I'm going to try it and see. Typical for me, I've managed to put down the little pin that goes in and locks the, um, the whole thing from turning, so I've just put a screwdriver in it, but uh, it's here somewhere, it's in the way. Um, I seem to do, oh, there it is. So I seem to do it with everything, I put something down, I can't find it ever again. Okay, that's pretty hard to turn. Pins in. Okay, let's slowly lower them and see what it does. I'm expecting it just to fall over. Let's have a look. I'm still amazed that it can take the weight. It's on it now. I think the chain's gone loose. Yeah. It's on the engine stand. Um, let's feel, see if it feels secure. Feels relatively good. Okay, let's pretend it's okay and move it. Um, I'll lower this so it's definitely not holding it. Right, it's definitely not holding it now. Uh, I don't actually need to turn the engine at the moment. I just want to store it up there so I can get the 911 back in. So I think what I'll do is uh, really loathe to undo it straight away. Let's just, how easy is it to? It seems really steady. Um, okay, I guess I'll detach the chains, put the lift back under the 928 so it's out of the way, roll the engine into the space over here. Uh, and leave it there for a minute, and then we can start working out what to do. And there we have it, one engine out, crane returned back there just so it's out of the way, engine tucked up the back. Um, really quite pleased with that, it wasn't particularly difficult to get out, there's a lot of playing around with the engine just to get it um, free from the bell housing, but it looks fantastic on the stand. Um, stand feels pretty secure. Uh, I can't remember, I think it was sort of 70 pounds on Amazon, it wasn't particularly expensive. Uh, the lift has been fantastic, that was about 230 pounds from SGS, very good. Uh, I've put that brace in, just in case I need to lift the car up and down, um, to hopefully avoid cracking the windscreen. Um, as I said before, this will roll back outside once the car cover comes. Um, the garage is almost empty, so I'm put the 911 back in. Just need to move my plant, uh, and that's been pretty good, very pleasing. So that's the end of this episode. Um, thanks for watching, as always. Please subscribe. 
Um, I think next week I will be looking at the engines or taking those heads off. So that's going to be uh, another learning experience. I've got no idea what to do with that. Um, but then we can get the heads away, get the spark plug resolved. While the heads are away, we can start taking things off like the, uh, the manifolds, which are really in need of some love. If I just zoom you in there. Um, but yeah, that will be this is the start of the fun, I think. A lot of replacing things, a lot of tidying things up. I need to find how to clean the aluminium. So if anyone's got any tips for that, you can see how bad it is. Um, feel free to put comments and let me know. Or let me know on Facebook. Um, okay, excellent. Thanks for watching. See you next time.